This one is going to be on ID3 tags, um, how to convert it to a file name or a file name to ID3 tag. What these tags are is uh, usually, you know, you have an iPod or a Zoom. Those display on the screen are ID3 tags. Now, on a computer, is file names. It's two different things, right? But now we want to combine those two for convenience, you know. So either you're using your iPod or your computer, you can see both in the same name, right? Now you want to do is uh, install this program here, Easy Tag, and uh, it'll look something like this when you open it. And what you want to do is navigate to your folder that you want to change. And after that, um, select the file that you want. You can select uh, all the files, but for this case, I'm just going to select one. Um, this first one is going to be on uh, ID32 file name. So, see our ID3 tag is right here, right? And it looks nice, you know, they have the artist and the title. So it's already there for us, but the file name is, is fucked up. Look at this. See the file name? They have the artist, the the album, the track, and the title. Uh, we just want it basic, artist and title only. So what you want to do is uh, go up here, where is this? Or use this icon, it's scan files here. Alright. Now, in the options, they might be different, but uh, we'll check it. Make sure it has um, um, this check and this check. Um, that's all you really need. It should be by default, but just check it to see if it's the same as mine. Now you see um, this thing right here, this, this um, icon. Um, these are the legends. It shows you the legends. You see that right here, down here? So, my setup is just artist and title, right? That's the uh, that's the best way. And since we're doing um, changing the file name, uh, we select on file name right here, right? That's what we do. So, after we get that set up, um, all you gotta do is click on this now, right? This um, icon is the same as before, but. Um, this is how we change it. Click on it, and it should be done down here, right? It says uh, file name successfully scanned it. Although it did not change it, this is uh, this is where it's different. The final change is um, well, the easiest way to do the final change is uh, click on a different folder, like click on this folder, and then it'll pop up with this, right? Do you want to save the changes for the directory? Yes, we do want to change, and it's going to change the track number three to just um, the artist and title only so that's what we want to do but yes right so it's done now we're in a different folder now but we want to go back to our old folder boom right and then no you don't change anything yet and you see uh, track number three has been changed All right see three is gone so we changed it so that's how you do um, the ID3 to file name tag. Now um, we need to uh, for part. If you have a file name that looks good and your ID t ID3 tag is like messed up or you don't have anything, um, let me see. I'll give you an example. Like you see the file name, it looks good. Artist and title, right? That's what we want, right? Um, you see here. Um, they don't have nothing in the ID3 tag. Nothing. So we want to use this the file name. Right? And we want to import that into the ID3 tag. Right? That's what we're going to do. So for this file right here. And we do pretty much the same thing. Click on that icon up here. And this time though. Um, yeah, make sure it says. Um, same thing, uh, artist and title, right? But this time we use this drop-down box to put the field tag because we're not doing file names anymore. We're doing t um, the MP3s. So that's all you gotta do: change it to that, and click on this. Boom! Right, and it should be down here. It says done. Right, the tag has successfully scanned it. All right, but we haven't made any changes yet. Um, to do the final change, all you gotta do is uh, click on a different folder, 
and then click back to that same folder. That's what we do. So they ask you, uh, you want to change? Yes, we do. And you see the tag is going to be filled with this. Let's put yes. And it's done. Now we want to change back to our old folder and see the tags. And let me see. Now that we click on our track, it should have the tag over there. And you see the tag is filled in now. Title here and artist. So that's all you gotta do. If you want to change it all at the same time, you just select all and then just do it all, the same thing again. But this time we'll do all of them at once. So that's how you do it. Um, now that you have um, both your file name and and your IDT tag, so you know you're on your computer or you go on your iPod, you see the same uh, display name, you know. So it's more convenient because you know how you, when you get a file, it's gonna be some whack up shit, you know, like underscore or numbers and stupid. I don't know who the fuck actually ripped these shits. You know what I'm saying? Those idiots. So that's how you rename your shits with this program. That's all.